turn to film the video. All right, I'm getting ready to kick off another video here. And um, usually off screen, if you've seen any of my previous videos, I get interrupted a lot by my dog. Her name is Abby. I call her Abner. And yes, she is the the inspiration behind the name Amazing Abner. So I'm down in my little office here, which is a mess. I apologize. A lot of that is inventory, even the TV. I think we're going to try to branch out on Facebook Marketplace um, for a few of the larger items. But she's at my feet here, whining. Oh, I'll tell you what, let's give her some camera time. She's never been on. <clears throat> Abs, can you say hi, girl? Oh, thank you. You're very sweet. So there is amazing Abner, ladies and gentlemen. She is a big help. Abs, kiss, thank you. All right. All right. There is the inspiration. But without further ado, this video is about a return. And I've only had two returns in four months on eBay. And um, also, quick rundown, I'm just wearing the white t-shirt here because it's winter time here in Cincinnati. Um, I've got the door closed behind me and right up here by this collection of NFL helmets, if you wondered what that was on the wall, there's a vent just right off the cam off the camera here so the heat with the door closed in this little room it gets to be extraordinary so I'm roasting so I had to take my <laughs> my shirt off we're just donning the t-shirt here but here it is I'm gonna tell you what I sold or I'm gonna show you we'll put that up on the screen here so this is what I sold this lot of uh, Nintendo 64 well it was two cartridges a miniature lot of uh, two boxing games. It was Knockout Kings 2000 and Ready to Rumble 2. Um, shortly after the customer received the items, I got a return request, and I was obviously fine with that. You know, um, I always try to put myself in the customer's shoes um, unless something extraordinary would happen. If I got something and it, it didn't work or I didn't want it for some legitimate reason, I'd want to be taken care of and treated right. So, absolutely, I was going to accept this return. However, when the return came, and granted, let's show it again here, I mean here, this is what I sold, two games, and this is what I got back. All right, now that the suspense is over, two video games. Got the return. This is what I got. And this isn't the whole story. I'll we'll get into the whole thing here. But this is what I got back. Ready to rumble too. That's what I sold with Knockout Kings. So I only got one game back. And um, the big issue is... As soon as USPS dropped this off in my mailbox and scanned it, eBay gave the customer a complete refund for both games. So they got to keep the one game. Um, now, and this is, this is legitimate, a legitimate return. I don't have an N64. They said it did not work. So I trust the customer that this did not work. Obviously, Knockout Kings 2000 worked because they kept that. And I don't think, you know, out of the gate here, there was any malicious intent uh, from the customer. So my thought was, you know what, um, I feel terrible that I even sold them a game that didn't work. I'm, I'm embarrassed. That's not anything that I want to ever do. So I was going to go ahead and give them a refund of $14.50. I don't know if you think that sounds fair. I thought it sounded just basically charged them $5. No shipping or anything. $5. And they get to keep Knockout Kings 2000. But with that eBay return thing, they you know just immediately sent them the uh, full refund so I was out out a game which again isn't the end of the world luckily this was a smaller ticket sale but anyway I was like that's not right we need to look into this so the initial email that I got from eBay had a like dispute the return for some reason sort of button you could hit 
So I hit that, I typed in what happened, and days went by, and I never heard back. Probably three, four, five days. I try to be patient. I try to be understanding. I'm sure they're overwhelmed. Again, especially this time of the year around the holidays. But I heard nothing from them. And I was like, okay, well, in the end, you know, I, I don't know how I can learn a lesson from this, what I could do any differently. Um, thank God it wasn't, you know, some three-figure sale or something. Oh, well. Customer didn't mean any harm. If the worst thing I do is give a customer a free video game, then then we'll just take it and move on. But I didn't want to take it lying down. I wanted to try to, you know, resolve it some way. All right, so I'm jumping back here um, because there was another little detail that I wanted to add in, and I almost forgot about it. So not only did I get these, the two, the one game back, uh, two that I sold, and gave the the full refund um, to this customer, and so I was out of game. They also didn't meet the cre criteria. I can't even speak. <laughs> the criteria of the return. So they opened the return on October 21. To my understanding, when the customer has 30 days to open a return, which is, is fine, I always offer 30-day uh, window. I don't think it matters if I did. Either way, they'd still have the ability to do it, which, again, if from a buyer's perspective, I would want to have that too. So uh, obviously this person with the video games opened the return well within the 30-day window. However, my understanding is once you open the return, then you have a week to get that shipped out and provide tracking. I was waiting and waiting and checking every day as I'm on eBay every day doing something anyway and the week passed. So at that point I thought that the return was null and void. I was then ready to reach out to the customer because I still wasn't going to have them just keep a, a non-working video game and then they were out money. So I was going to again give them the the refund to where they would only have to wind up paying five dollars for the one game. If that was acceptable to them, I, I hope it would have been, but um, but so that time elapsed, that seven day window, so I thought it was kind of closed at that point. I was just getting ready to reach out to the customer and lo and behold, uh, a few days after that, I don't know, it was the ninth or the tenth day, the all of a sudden we got tracking that the return was on the way. So. I'm not sure how that window of time works, but it, it didn't work in this case. They were still able to return it, which is fine, but so maybe I'm just misunderstanding things. But I just wanted to touch on that. That's another detail to this. So let me get back to where I was. So what I wound up doing to resolve the situation is I went onto Facebook and I searched for eBay for Business. And I was able to start a Facebook Messenger chat with eBay for Business probably within 24 hours of explaining the situation I got a message back and let me see if I can even pull the message up um, well I know I can let me figure out how I'll put it on the screen because uh, eBay does deserve a lot of credit for this I'll show you the the conversation here I keep doing that or part of the conversation up here I reached out explained the situation that I had already reached out to eBay online and I have not heard anything back an eBay rep by the name of Whitney got back to me and said, Thank you, Tom. I am sorry uh, to see how this happened. I reviewed the return, and due to the refund having been sent automatically, I am not able to appeal the decision. With that said, I wanted to see if I could offer you an alternative that I hope will make it right. I can assign a $25 coupon to your account for use on a single purchase, it would be valid for the next 30 days. Let me know if this is okay. I am more than happy to help Whitney. To me, that was above and beyond. So again, kudos to eBay for business. Um, that that was fantastic. I, I didn't even want that. That was more than, than I wanted. Um, so I obviously replied that that would be fantastic. The coupon code was applied to my account. So what I wound up doing, and if you've, again, I say this a lot, if you've seen previous videos, it's like I'm trying to push you to watch them. I'm not doing that at all. You don't have to watch anything that I've done. However, when the weather's right, I try to record outside with my phone. Um, I just like the lighting better. Um, I don't like being cooped up in this room, but uh, now that it's winter time, I haven't really done that. I've made the last couple of videos here in my office slash man room. Uh, for tax purposes, this is an office. Um, but 
I went ahead and I purchased a ring light. So with the coupon code helping me, I purchased a ring light. So hopefully it can make the quality of these videos a little bit better. Um, so using some of that money, rolling it back into the to the amazing Abner Studios, so to speak. So anyway, I just wanted to share that. I thought that was a fantastic thing uh, for eBay uh, to do. eBay for business, Whitney. Whitney, if you're watching this, thank you. Uh, just great customer service. So if you have any problems, I mean, I tried to go to her regular eBay first. That didn't work. Actually, I don't think I've heard back to this day from them again. Just wanted to share that piece of information. If you have any trouble, I would recommend going through eBay for Business on Facebook. Um, you see what they did for me. Tremendous help. Great customer service. So, again, just wanted to share that. Hopefully, uh, somebody out there finds that helpful. Thank you again uh, for watching Amazing Abner. Oh, and I don't want to forget, if you've made it this far in the video, right before we get ready to shut off, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. It would help me out a lot. I currently sit at a little over 50 subscribers, so this would kind of help get the word out a little bit more. And, you know, new resellers, I've said it many times before, if there's anything I can do to help, leave uh, questions down in the comments. Um, I have a lot of resellers uh, that have a lot more experience than me, um, uh, that are very nice and are kind of, that seem to watch my videos a little bit more, that have helped me out with some great advice. Um, comment on my videos, uh, Teresa Tromke, Save Here First, uh, just to mention too, thank you guys. Um, you know, that, that helps out a lot, and it makes me feel good, just in general, it makes me feel good, so thank you. But as we end every video, treat others the way you want to be treated. It'll make things go a lot easier for you in life, that I can guarantee. Probably help you on eBay too, or Amazon, or wherever else you sell. But uh, thanks again. We'll see you next time.